Hi Brad from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at transferring your WordPress installation from your local computer to your web server. Uh, in this case I've used Instant WP to install WordPress locally and here it is here. It's all in this folder. If we open up this folder and we go to IW server htdocs uh, we'll see WordPress in here and this is a folder containing WordPress and all the themes and plugins. Now I want to move all of this to a live web server um, and for this exercise I'm using Bluehost. I, I have an account with Bluehost for some of my smaller blogs and uh, and I'll just show you how to do this. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, the first thing we want to do is open up uh, our local uh, installation of WordPress so we'll just click on the icon there for instant WordPress and we'll open this up and we'll need to install a plugin now there's lots of different ways you can do this you can use a text editor like notepad plus plus but there's a really good little plugin which makes it super easy to do so let's just click on WordPress admin and we'll lock in, log into WordPress on our local system and uh, we'll go to plugins and I'll just see whether I've already installed this um, WP Migrate DB. So this is the plugin that you want to install. So uh, just click on Add New, search for the plugin, install this little great little plugin. It is. It changes all the links, all the internal links, and everything within your local installation. So when you restore it to your live web server, you're not going to have any broken links, and everything will work perfectly. So uh, so that. That plugin's already installed. Now, if we go down to uh, Tools and we see WP Migrate DB, and we'll click on that. This is the uh, the local address at the moment. Now, I've got a spare domain which I use for uh, for testing on a, on a live web server, and it's called SolutionSocial.com. So you just put whatever your domain is in there and we'll need to get the file path as well. So I'll just check the file path. We'll go to Bluehost and we'll scroll down here to files and under the file manager uh, section we'll click on uh, go. Okay and we can see the path here is uh, home for Dalton WI so uh, it won't actually be there click on uh, public HTML um, it'll actually be in here so that what we'll have to do firstly is set up this domain on this uh, web server so I'll have to create an add-on domain so if I go to domain manager and we'll just create an add-on domain. Now let's go to register a new domain, assign a domain to your cPanel account. So we'll click there and we'll have to authorize this with the domain manager. Uh, in this case it's uh, GoDaddy. So let's go here and let's type in solutionsocial.com verifying domain so we'll just wait for that I'll need a password or an EP code um, so I'll have to get that so let's just log in to uh, GoDaddy our domain manager GoDaddy and uh, log into my account you'll have to put your, uh, your username and password in there so uh, I'll just do that I'll just have to grab that so once you've uh, logged into your domain manager there's two ways you can add uh, create an add-on domain in Bluehost you can send the EEP code the authorization code uh, by email so I'll just click on that there and that'll send an email uh, to the uh, to the email address registered with that domain. And there's another way you can do it as well. You can actually um, just 
basically insert your, the password for your cPanel account in here. Um, I've already pointed the uh, the DNS, the D domain name servers to this host, Bluehost. Um, so all I have to do is put in my cPanel password or the EEP code which is sent to me via email once I activate that in my domain manager's uh, control panel. So there's two ways to do that and once you get the email uh, you can basically uh, or, or enter your password you can create the add-on domain and then we can uh, move forward and transfer the files and the database over to your live web server so that's just in the process of uh, creating the directory on the server for the new domain solutionsocial.com and this is the demo domain that I'll be using to restore uh, WordPress 2 on a live web server from a local setup so they say that'll take 5 to 15 minutes but it'll be pretty much done straight away so if we go back into cPanel we should see a, a file folder directory which has been created um, on the server and we can grab the path to that directory now and place that into the plugin settings so if we go down to files and we click on file manager uh, let's see solution social you can see they've already created that so it's not five to fifteen minutes <laughs> it's a lot faster and this is the path that we want here public html forward slash solution social so uh, the first part of the path will be home for Dalton WI uh, obviously that'll be different in your case so we need all of that information and uh, and we'll go to the plugin settings now and we'll uh, and we'll put this information into uh, the plugin settings. So let's just have a look at that again. Uh, forward slash home for Dalton WI. So forward slash. Here we go. I've already got it in because I did this yesterday. And the last part of this is uh, solution social so that's the path to where all the files will be so we'll upload them to that exact uh, that exact path um, we've put the domain name in there so that's all you need the new address and the new file path uh, there's a couple of options here which are pretty good I don't think you'll have to worry too much about spam comments because I doubt you got any of those uh, playing around with WordPress locally um, but you can configure those settings there and all, all as we do now is click export database and you can see it's already processed it there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of data in there but you can see the way that changed the links here this is the local uh, address and this is the new domain and it's done that perfectly solutionsocial.com so I'm not going to have any problems there I'll just save this database file it's an SQL file to the desktop so I'll save that and that would have been done pretty quick um, so that's all I really need to do locally uh, with the database so I can pretty much shut down the local installation I don't need the domain manager anymore um, so I've got the file and where is it I'll find it on my local uh, local desktop it'll be here somewhere that's a bit of a mess because I'm pretty busy but uh, this is it here so this is the database and all the links have been changed I mean obviously you could open this up with notepad plus plus you could do a search find and you could uh, put in your, your 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 local URL in here and change it to the new one as well so that's a, that's another way to do it and he, here's the uh, here it is here you could put this in and change it to Solution Social or change it your, to your domain name. So that's pretty straightforward. So now let's just go to the files now. We've done the database. The next step is the files. So we go to IWP Server, HTDocs, uh, WordPress. Now the best way to do this is to just to zip it up really. Um, let's just send this to zip. Compress zip folder and uh, that'll take about 15-20 seconds and we'll just upload this using uh, file manager in cPanel you could use unlimited FTP which is an FTP program uh, within file manager 
or you could use FTP, your own FTP client like uh, FileZilla. So I'll just drag that onto the desktop. That's got all our files, our uploads, themes, plugins, everything we need in there. And uh, and we'll just upload that. Now an, an, another way to do this would be to install WordPress uh, using simple scripts in, in, in cPanel and then upload uh, your files like your plugins, your themes and all that sort of stuff. But uh, I just prefer to drag out the whole lot and zip it up and I'll just upload that. So I'll go into cPanel now. I'm in the directory. Click on upload. Uh, we'll find WordPress desktop and that'll upload and that'll take a few minutes because my internet connection is a little bit slow. There's a 150 MB limit on uploads in cPanel so if, you're, uh, if your local installation is any bigger than that you'll need to use FTP but while it's doing that let's just go into cPanel um, let's uh, we need to create a database so we'll have to do that um, let's let's go into cPanel and create a database we'll just go down to databases click on the MySQL database wizard and we'll just create a quick uh, a quick database we'll call this uh, demo for the database name call it demo as well for the username uh, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Might not work. So we'll go A, B, C as well. A, B, C. Create user. This will create the database. We'll select all privileges here. And um, we'll just copy this because we'll need this. So we'll copy this to Notepad. And we'll have to uh, edit the WP config file, which we've, uh, which we're uploading in that zip folder with uh, WordPress files in it. So let's go next step. So that's all done. We can return home here, and we're just waiting for that to upload. Here it is. Here it's complete. It's only about 12 meg, so that's pretty good. So we refresh that, and we can see the WordPress zip folder here click on that and uh, let's just uh, extract everything that's all done let's refresh that uh, we don't need that anymore so let's delete that the zip folder now we need to move this um, so we'll open this up select all uh, click move we want to move that into the solution social directory so we'll move all those files. If we just go back to Solution Social. We'll find all the files are in there, all the WordPress files. So we can delete that WordPress uh, directory now. And we'll just edit the WP config now, and this should be right, everything will work. We'll have to import the database, obviously, using PHP uh, my admin, but we'll just go down to uh, the WP config, uh, code edit. I'm pretty sure you'll know how to do all this. And uh, here's the username and the database name. So we'll just replace these. Paste. Root was the old username for the local installation. Password 123456ABC. So we'll just save those changes. There's the config, that's done. So we refresh now and we'll just upload the database. So we'll go into PHP My Admin and I want to try to get this done under 15 minutes before the video shuts out. So I've got 50 seconds left. But this is pretty 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 straightforward process really. It's really not difficult. The plugin's really good. I normally use Notepad++ but uh, hang on, let's just go to the, the database that we created. Um, and this is the one here or was it let's just check that again so make sure you select the right database in this case it was demo here's the file here the SQL file so we'll just import that now
and you see that's been successful there it's imported all the database tables and there's solutionsocial.com uh, so it's worked perfectly if you've got any questions just leave a comment below the video and I'll get in touch cheers